a few years ago is when I really um, connected with myself. I was so happy. Really, I felt like I was on drugs. Everything was just working out. You for are. Me. <laughs> you are a chemical factory, and when you tune in, there are there is the release of drugs in your system, stimulants. Mm -hmm. And during that time, I met the most wonderful woman, and it was natural. Um, the love was just there, and it was effortless, and it was just comfortable. And it just happened. And then I wobbled a lot, to use a word of the day. Yeah, I got too, too much detail going on. Mm -hmm. And we, we want to restate that. More detail, not too much, just more. The more detail you introduce to any subject, the more potential for wobble. Mm. So you have the ability to, to stay wobble-free as you introduce the new information, but you kind of got to keep an eye on it. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about during that time my fears. And my. Well, let us state it differently or mm -hmm. more accurately. Mm -hmm. My thoughts, which contain more and more of what I didn't want, caused me to wobble. And I am now referring to that wobble as fear. Mm. And I didn't have to be subjective. I didn't have to weigh the pros and the cons so much. I could have right. just been more, but no matter, because clarity always comes from it, doesn't it? Right. Right. And during that time, I lost her. And I during that time, uh, <laughs> I, opened, I opened the door for the new relationship that this relationship had afforded me. You can't lose anything. Right. You never lose. You right. never lose. You always gain. Mm -hmm. You're always gaining. Mm -hmm. so that, that naturally leads me to my question is... If that relationship had continued, mm -hmm. it is our knowing mm -hmm. that the components of it would have caused more attention to more wobble. It was a catalyst to who you really are and what you really want. No regrets. Mm -hmm. Because you, you didn't leave your trail. Your trail just got clearer. What I was going to ask... <laughs> <laughs> you threw me off and I expected this. Well, he did it on purpose because... This is what we do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still going to ask it anyway. Yeah. Um, how do I not attract the old relationship? Because I still do want her. How do I attract a new, better, clearer... Well, you can never attract the old relationship because the components of the old relationship have evolved all the way around. So it will always be a new relationship even if the same two people enter into it. So what you're wanting to do, and you are doing it, we could even say have done it, but since you never get it done, we must say are doing it. You, come into con you started this conversation by saying you found yourself. So letting that be the relationship that matters most for a while. And then, see, the, it's sort of like where we began today. H here are the factors, and we'll break them down a as elementary as we can. There's, in the relationship that you are talking about here, in this coupling relationship, there are these factors. There's you, and there's the other person. But there's you and your relationship with your inner being, and there's the other person and her relationship with her inner being. So, so it's more than just the two of you. It's the all of you. 
So these are the factors. If you're in concert with who you are and she isn't, then it won't be appealing. But you will have more power of influence. So all anyone can do is serve their own alignment with their own source, trusting that law of attraction will bring the equivalent. Now, look at it this way. You'll like this relative to relationships. So let's say that you're wobble-free about the subject and have been for a while. So there's a lot of momentum going. So now, law of attraction is bringing you together with others who are also wobble-free. But because there are so many of them, you're wobbling because you're afraid you're going to choose the wrong one when any one of them would have been perfect. <laughs> but you're worrying that you won't choose the right one. So you wobble where if you could just not wobble, if you could just say, <laughs> the universe is bringing to me what's a vibrational match to me, then you would eventually, we're not talking about a lot of time, feel the inspiration and you would move along. So... Now, stay with us because this is going to really clear up for you here. So you're wobble-free and you've been wobble-free. And so lots of wobble-free things are coming to you. And now you have the opportunity to become even more specific in what you're asking for. So now the universe more specifically, more specifically, more specifically, more specifically brings you something that matches your wobble-free details. Do you hear that? wobble-free, very detailed. Most people, the more detailed they get, the more they wobble. But you've been practicing because you care about the way you feel. You've been practicing getting more and more and more and more detail and you're wobble-free. And then the universe yields to you someone else who's right there because the law of attraction never makes a mistake. It never, the law of attraction doesn't bring to a wobble-free person someone who's wobbling. It never works that way. All right, you're with us so far. Let's say, though, instead, an, an alternative situation is that you're, you're not wobble-free because, because you're lonely or because you miss this person or for whatever reason. So you're wobbling, which means you're thinking about what you want and you're thinking about the absence of what you want. You're thinking about what you want and you're thinking about the absence of what you want. So you've got a pretty good wobble going on. The universe is going to bring you someone just like you who has a pretty good wobble going on. Now, at first, you're both going to be sort of distracted from the wobble because something big happened. The, the, the void of being lonely got filled with the other person. So for a little while, you won't wobble so much because there's someone that's filling that void. But who you've both practiced yourself to be is still there. And so, so now under those conditions, it's more difficult for you to stay focused upon what you want because the conditions of what you've got are taking a lot. That's why we say it's easier to get rid of doubt before it starts. It's easier to attract a wobble-free relationship before you attract one that wobbles. You follow? So it's like saying, all right, I... I my dominant intent is just not to wobble for a while. My, the relationship that I'm working on is the one between me and me. And I'm just going to get it in such a clear place that then I will trust, I will believe, I will know that law of attraction will bring me one, a person, a partner, who's a vibrational match to the wobble-free being that I have practiced being. Best discussion we've ever had about relationships. And, and about wobbling too because this is a th picture that we want you to have if you're thinking about what you want you're attracting it but if you're thinking about the absence of it you're attracting it and so that's, that's who you are and so, you, so the universe is delivering to you all kinds of experiences that match the vibration that you've got going on when you just get your vibration going the way you want it to then what comes to you Esther said the other day, Abraham, you say you want me to live unconditionally. And yet the condition of that, that tree is a condition. I like that tree. That tree is a condition that I'm appreciating, but it is a condition. And we said, yes, but it is a wobble-free condition. It's a wobble-free condition. Focus upon the things that are wobble-free until you are so wobble-free that the details, the details of your wobble-free desire will be radiating from you with such velocity that your partner cannot not find you. 
So we know what your question is. Your question is, so can I get there and, and will she get there and will the universe bring us together? And we say, that's really not any of your business. You think it is. But when you make that your business, you wobble. Don't let that be your business. Let living happily ever after be your business. Finding a perfect partner, let that be your business. Someone who supports you but is autonomous, let that be your business. Someone who is vibrationally in alignment with who she is, whether you are or not, let that be your business. In other words, focus on how you want to feel, not the details of how it's going to come. Mm -hmm.